Oh joy, look at this, look at this picture, ready? I'm gonna zoom in. I'm standing on top of this because this is the most convenient way to work on this turd. So what I have to do now is get that broken bolt out right there. You know what it's like to get a six millimeter 1.0 out? Uh, so Jude, so Jude uh, stays in touch with a lot of things that I'm teaching him. And he's pretty much learning nothing in Ford Asset. Basically, right? Nothing that's actually useful in the real world, is what he said. So, well, I was telling him that we have a Ford in here, uh, turbo GDI, that either needs an engine or a cylinder head. Um, it's eight hours labor to remove the turbo intake manifold, not including scraping and, or walnut blasting all the intake valves to try and get the compression back in all four cylinders. So eight hours, probably another three or four hours, right? So you're 15 hours or so into this job and hoping that there's no other problems on a 150,000 mile worn out engine. So Jude was saying that Ford's, uh, your lube techs, your lube tech card. He said there's no area for recommendations from a service tech for a GDI service. It's fucking wipers, fluids, so hold on. All that so shit. this just tells me tires that you can point the fucking fingers right at your dealership and your service technicians for not advising you properly on how to maintain your GDI turbo engine or any engine at that fact. Because it's starting right in the in the the tech schools. Because he didn't mention anything about GDI service. The same instructor that says you don't have to worry about checking connectors. We don't just change connectors either on easy stuff. They sell weather pack connectors at Ford and Toyota. They're not going to sell a customer a whole new harness on a car that's out of warranty. They're going to go, yeah, right. No, they will. And then when the customer goes, absolutely not, I'm not paying that price. And they say, okay, bye. <laughs> right. Like, well, my point is he told you not to check connectors. You have to check connectors on everything you're servicing today. Junk, 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 junk. So, dude is just proof that the training that they're giving their technicians is not adequate for today's industry. No, it's adequate enough to get by. To be a fucking lube tech. Yeah, but it's not adequate enough to actually sit there and diagnose and progress quickly in the so you're a glorified fucking jiffy lube mechanic. 